Okay, I would like to do an update video on Earl's Hive for those of you that are interested. And I'll show you guys really quick before we get into there. So you're not alarmed looking at the front of this box. These bees are coming in and out of the back here. So I had them in a five frame nuke with a wheel entrance right here. Well, I've upgraded them to a uh, 10 frame box and I'm gonna have to train them to go around to the front. Let's jump into uh, Earl's Hive here and see how they're doing. I don't know what time it is. 2.30 or so in the afternoon. And uh, I've seen them working uh, clover a little bit. They're doing some of that. Oh my gosh, these bees have got everything all messed up. Goofy bees. Oh my gosh, this is a disaster. Okay, so we're gonna pull this out of the way as well. And I am going to get my veil because they done made a mess and I'm probably gonna make them a little bit sad when I go in here and open this up. This is why we don't really like the burr comb too much here. Holy crap. Oh, okay, this is my fault. Yeah, I see what they've done here. Oops. Oh, geez. I can't really blame this one on the foundation here. I sorta of can. They came off, everything seemed fine, then they came off here and got crazy here at the end, but let's sit this over here for right now. I don't, I'm looking for the queen over there just in case she's, she's goofing over there. All right, now well, I'm gonna show you guys why part of the problem here and uh, it's because I got these medium frames in a deep box. And of course, they've just continued building down below here. Once again, we're gonna be uh, giving Earl's bees too much space, but what do you do? I really need to get this uh, under control. Let's see if I can just... I hope the queen's not underneath there. It's gotta be done though, in my opinion. Got brood on both sides here. We'll be sacrificing a fair bit, but bring you guys in here and look at what we're doing here so we took this off of that you can see they're building out off of the the frame like goobers we're gonna wire this up in here somewhat short ones here they're not gonna reach but if you get these and they, they won't reach just take them like this reach through and grab the other side again see this see now you can go corner to corner so I'm gonna go from corner of the frame all the way to the other corner of the frame. That's gonna hold that in there pretty good. And then I can take some and go this way as well. Any spots that are sticking out bad. See what we've made here? We have a little pocket to, to uh, set our comb down in. We made something to to set this in, so that's what we'll do. Oop, we got some smashed bees here. And I'll just give everybody a little bit of the, the happy smoke there. And I'm standing right in the entrance of this other colony, which is not a good idea, but let me go ahead and put this. Actually, maybe I can put this right here and not cause too much, too much havoc. Put it right there so you guys can see, hopefully. And we'll get this one that's got honey and such on it. Normally I don't frame up honey, but in this case I'm gonna do it. And then here is some brood. Got nectar all over my hands now. Go. 
set that down in there. Get it kind of where we like it. Looks halfway decent. Maybe I'll put another band over here because it's kind of poking out a little bit right over here. You just kind of put them where you need them. Right there. So this one I'll put one right there. And smash that cup. There we go. This will go in the box as well. Look at these uh, bees stinging this. Let me get. Let me get in here. Let me get in here. Let me show y'all. Look at them go. See the hive beetle? She went. Hive beetle went in that cell. She's trying to pull it out. Oh, it got out. Went to another one. She's looking for it. She's pissed off. Oh, they found it. Come on, pull it out. Beat it up. It's hiding in that cell. It will. Little prick. Y'all should have seen it when they had it out. They were stinging the crap out of it. So I'm gonna push these bees back to somewhere else. Alrighty. This is how y'all get stung in the hand, in case you was wondering. All right, I got this. So soft. It is a little warm out here today. I need to get these bees over there back on the uh, colony. Look at them falling down. I don't know why they're being so crazy. I think the queen must be over here. back over here. I don't think she'd be in, out there. I'm falling off these crazy bees. They're being super silly. Now they're all over the ground. Here's the real MVP of this particular shenanigan are these bees. I've been standing right in front of their entrance this whole time and none of them have stung me. Let me move this smoke. This smoke is getting a little out of control. I'll put it all the way over here. So we've got them in there. I'm going to try not to walk over all these bees that are falling down, but let me scoop this back over. get any bees squished in the process. All right, that's it. We did it. Still coming and going on the front. Not exactly what I had planned for this inspection, but sometimes that's how it goes. Have little issues and you gotta fix them. So now we've got five frames up top here that have at least some comb on them. Two of them are fully drawn out and all brewed and everything else. And they're over top of what's below, so hopefully they'll continue to expand this out. We give them a little bit more room than what they probably need, but uh, that's okay. They'll be all right. Ugh. Whoops. Whoops. Smashed a bee over here. Ugh. This whole video has been a blooper reel. I got nectar all over everything. This would not be a very good site if we didn't have some nectar coming in. 
I mean, look, I got, I got nectar dripping down here. Look at that. That's pretty good. It's very floral. Got nectar over here on this other box. Sorry, my nails are really long and gross. Again, I'm walking right in front of this hive and they're not stinging me. So I'm thankful for that. What do they get? Five stories tall and I do that, I'll get lit up. But thanks for watching. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, hopefully I was able to uh, edit a bunch of the extra stuff out and make it somewhat watchable. See you guys in the next one.